In the world of heavy machinery, one name stands out as a true industry leader, Caterpillar Inc. With a global presence and a legacy that spans decades, Caterpillar has established itself as a multinational corporation at the forefront of manufacturing, construction and mining equipment, engines and industrial gas turbines. Caterpillar's influence extends far and wide, with operations and customers in numerous countries around the globe. From towering skyscrapers to massive mining operations, Caterpillar's equipment has become synonymous with power, reliability, and durability. Join us as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of Caterpillar Inc., exploring not only its remarkable achievements, but also the controversies that have shaped its journey. Once upon a time, in the late 19th century, the story of Caterpillar began with the steam tractor machines manufactured by the Holt Manufacturing Company. These behemoth tractors, though powerful, faced a peculiar problem. Their immense weight caused them to sink into the soft soil of California's farmland. Benjamin Holt, a pioneering figure in the industry, embarked on a mission to find a solution. In a stroke of ingenuity, Holt devised a plan to overcome the sinking issue. He experimented with increasing the size and width of the wheels, resulting in a tractor that was a staggering 46 feet wide. However, this approach proved to be complex, expensive, and difficult to maintain. Undeterred, Holt explored alternative ideas. He envisioned wrapping wooden planks around the wheels to provide better traction. On a fateful Thanksgiving day in 1904, Holt's innovation came to life. He successfully tested the modified machine, plowing through the soggy delta of Roberts Island. The solution was effective and marked a turning point in tractor design. Across the Atlantic, another visionary named Richard Hornsby and Sons was developing their own steel plate track vehicle, which they patented in 1904. This unique tractor utilized differential braking to steer, eliminating the need for a conventional steering wheel. Holt eventually acquired the patent for this innovative design from Hornsby, forever changing the course of his company's history. It was during this time that a significant moment of inspiration occurred. While observing the machine's tracks rising and falling over the carrier rollers, the company photographer, Charles Clements, remarked that it resembled a caterpillar. Holt was captivated by the metaphor and promptly embraced the name. The iconic Caterpillar brand was born. In 1907, Holt sold his first steam-powered tractor crawlers for a price of $5,500 each. These machines featured 30-inch high track frames and 3-inch by 4-inch redwood slats. Holt's continuous track patent, granted in 1907, further solidified the company's position as a leader in the industry. Fast forward to 1910. Benjamin Holt established a plant in East Peoria, Illinois, marking the beginning of Caterpillar's Midwest presence. The company flourished, exporting tractors to countries like Argentina, Canada, and Mexico. Over time, Caterpillar's reputation grew, fueled by their commitment to quality and innovation. World War I brought new opportunities for Caterpillar. Their track-type tractors played a vital role in supporting the war efforts. Holt's tractors, repurposed as gun tractors, hauled artillery and supplies, proving their worth on the battlefield. These tractors even inspired the development of the British tank, revolutionizing ground warfare tactics forever. However, the post-war period presented challenges for Caterpillar. Transitioning from a wartime economy to peacetime proved difficult, with reduced demand for heavy-duty tractors and increased competition. To weather the storm, Caterpillar's leadership made strategic decisions, including focusing on road construction equipment and introducing diesel engines as a more efficient alternative to gasoline. In 1925, a significant merger took place that would shape Caterpillar's future. CL Best Gas Tractor Company, a strong competitor, joined forces with Holt Caterpillar to form the Caterpillar Tractor Company. The merger brought together their expertise and resources, propelling the company's growth. Caterpillar continued to thrive even through the Great Depression, expanding its product line and solidifying its position as an industry leader. Over the years, Caterpillar embraced new markets and expanded its global presence. From Russia to China, Brazil to India, the company established manufacturing facilities worldwide, catering to the needs of diverse regions. 
although Caterpillar is known as a leading manufacturer of large-scale machinery. The company also has a hand in producing durable smartphone development and has released a number of smartphones for the industrial market. In February 2016, Caterpillar introduced the Cat S60 phone, featuring a distinctive thermal imaging capability that enables users to detect heat patterns. Known for its robustness, the Cat S60, like other Caterpillar smartphone models, was built to withstand tough conditions. It was promoted as water resistant and capable of functioning underwater at depths of up to 16 feet for around one hour. Subsequently, the Cat S61 was released, which incorporated air quality monitoring and later replaced by the S62, which further enhanced thermal capabilities. Caterpillar generates a significant portion of its revenue through machinery sales, but the company also benefits from trademark and licensing agreements. While Caterpillar machines are commonly associated with their trademark yellow color, this shade was not initially used by the company. In fact, it wasn't until 1931, after years of designing machinery in gray, that Caterpillar adopted its distinctive yellow color. Today, the trademark yellow color and logo design are exclusive to Caterpillar, further reinforcing the company's brand identity. Additionally, Caterpillar leverages its brand recognition by licensing its name and logo for various products and apparel, which serves as an additional source of revenue for the company. While Caterpillar Inc. has made significant contribution to various industries, it has also faced environmental controversies that have brought the company under scrutiny. One notable controversy revolves around violations of the Clean Air Act, as outlined in a settlement reached between Caterpillar and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. According to the EPA, Caterpillar was found to have manufactured and sold engines that did not comply with emission standards set forth by the Clean Air Act. These violations involved tampering with engine settings, specifically the injector and fuel map settings, resulting in increased emissions beyond allowable limits. The consequences of these violations were significant. In 2017, Caterpillar agreed to a settlement with the EPA, requiring the company to pay a civil penalty of $2.55 million. Additionally, Caterpillar was obligated to implement a corrective action plan to address the non-compliance issues and ensure future compliance with emission standards. The corrective action plan included various measures, such as conducting regular audits of its facilities, enhancing training programs for employees involved in emission-related activities, and implementing a system to verify compliance with emission standards. These actions aim to rectify the violations and prevent similar incidents in the future. The violations of the Clean Air Act by Caterpillar not only resulted in legal consequences, but also raised concerns about the company's environmental practices. Emission standards exist to protect air quality and public health, and non-compliance can have adverse effects on the environment and communities surrounding Caterpillar's operations. In addition to the environmental controversies, Caterpillar Inc. has also faced a significant tax controversy that has spanned over 15 years, as reported in the Bloomberg article. This lengthy tax saga involved allegations against Caterpillar regarding its offshore tax practices and aggressive tax planning strategies. The tax controversy began in 2004, when the Internal Revenue Service initiated an audit of Caterpillar's U.S. tax returns. The focus of the audit was Caterpillar's transfer pricing arrangement, which involved determining the prices for goods, services, and intellectual property transferred between the company's U.S. and overseas subsidiaries. The IRS alleged that Caterpillar had engaged in aggressive tax planning, specifically by shifting profits earned in the United States to its Swiss subsidiary, known as Caterpillar SARL. By doing so, Caterpillar allegedly took advantage of lower tax rates in Switzerland and significantly reduced its U.S. tax liability. After a lengthy legal battle with multiple investigations, Caterpillar reached a settlement with the IRS in 2022. The settlement required Caterpillar to pay a staggering $740 million to resolve the tax dispute. This settlement marked the end of a 15-year tax saga that had been closely followed by the industry and financial community. It's important to note that tax planning and optimization strategies are commonly employed by multinational corporations to legally minimize their tax obligations. However, when these strategies cross the line into abusive or illegal practices, it can lead to disputes and legal actions. 
In 2004, Caterpillar Inc. became embroiled in a controversy surrounding its sales of bulldozers to the Israel Defense Forces, or IDF. The Office of the UN High Commissioner on Human Rights raised concerns and sent a warning letter to the company regarding the use of Caterpillar's bulldozers in the destruction of Palestinian farms. The contention further escalated in 2005 when four Roman Catholic orders of nuns and the pro-Palestinian group Jewish Voice for Peace planned to introduce a resolution at a Caterpillar shareholder meeting. The resolution aimed to investigate whether Israel's use of Caterpillar's bulldozers to destroy Palestinian homes aligned with the company's code of business conduct. In response, an organization called Stand With Us urged its members to purchase Caterpillar stock and express support for the company through letters. SWU and other Jewish organizations argued that Israel was being unfairly targeted in the controversy. The quarrel surrounding Caterpillar's sales to IDF highlighted the complex and contentious nature of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Critics of Caterpillar's involvement claimed that the use of the company's bulldozers in demolishing Palestinian homes and farms raised ethical concerns and violated human rights. Supporters of Caterpillar argued that the company equipment was being unfairly implicated, emphasizing the need to consider the broader context of the conflict. However, these controversies have elicited mixed reactions from the public. Some stakeholders may appreciate the company's efforts to address the issues and improve its practices, while others may remain skeptical and critical. Controversies of this nature often result in ongoing scrutiny and heightened expectations for Caterpillar to demonstrate transparency, accountability, and genuine commitment to responsible business conduct. Did the environmental and tax issues raise more concern for you? Or do you think the positive contributions outweigh these controversies? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel.